Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my November book haul, and oh my gosh, I bought way too many books, oh my gosh. I present to you my uh, November book haul. So this month, I finally picked up a book that I've been eyeing for a while now. It's been recommended to me so many times, uh, and that book is Patrick Ness's The Knife of Never Letting Go. Now, it's really interesting because this book was recommended to me uh, by another booktuber, Jenny at Jellify, whose uh, channel I'll link down below, and she recommended it to me when I went to my first ever booktube meetup. And uh, it was hosted by Zoe from Red by Zoe, whose channel I'll also link down below. And it was just so, so much fun. It was so great to meet other booktubers, people who like booktube. And we just had a laugh. And we ended up going to Foils. And we all picked out a book. And Jenny was like, you have to read this. And I was like, okay. And so I picked it up. And uh, I'm really looking forward to reading it. I just love the opening lines. I think it's dystopian. I don't really know. I mean, there's a talking dog at the beginning, so this is, this is the opening section. The first thing you find out when your dog learns to talk is that dogs don't got nothing much to say about anything. Need a poo, Todd. Shut up, Nancy. Poo, poo, Todd. I said shut it. <laughs> talking dogs, poo, I'm in. The booktube meetup was absolutely fantastic. It was so much fun. I recommend to everyone, if you're in an area where people are hosting a meetup, go because you won't regret it and it's so much fun and it was great meeting everyone so then the next book i bought was lockdown escape from furnace number one and uh this book is really cool i've already read it it was uh recommended to me by a friend of mine and it's just uh really cool it's basically hunger games meets prison break uh the premise is that youth crime in england has gotten so out of control that the government has decided to build an underground prison uh, called Furnace that's like absolutely horrifying and insane and they said send kids there and our main hero gets framed for murder and is then sent there and terrifying stuff happens down there and there's like street gangs and like fights and ah oh, it's just it's really really cool um and so I definitely recommend it to anyone who liked the Maze Runner or Divergent it's more of that good YA dystopian goodness, really brutal, really hardcore. Really interestingly, Alexander Gordon Smith has a creative writing degree from University of East Anglia, which is like a really prestigious writing program. It's where uh, Kazuo Ishiguro went, uh, Ian McEwen came out of there too. Um, so you're, it's more associated with literary fiction as a school, so it's cool to see someone writing YA who's come out of there as well. And you can definitely see that his writing is really refined, and he does draw up some really cool metaphors and some kick-ass sentences. But while reading it, I did wonder whether that was a good thing or not. Like, you know, when you have terrifying skinless dogs and, like, evil psychopathic prison guards, it's like, I don't need all this detail, I don't need the description, I just want to know what's happening next. Anyway, I definitely enjoyed it, and I definitely recommend it to people who like a good sort of YA dystopia. Then I bought an old favorite. I don't want to talk about it for too long. Um, it was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and I'm hoping to do a, a rereading of it. Maybe this month. I think it'll be a great Christmas book. Um, I don't have this edition, this the new cover edition, which I kind of like. And uh, yeah, but I don't want to talk too much about it, so I'm just going to put it down now. Harry Potter... It's like, geez louise, can I go a single video without talking about Harry Potter? <laughs> Next book I got was City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And I know so many people have been talking about this book, and it's supposed to be really good. It's like, from what I understand, it's like Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Gossip Girl in New York City. And that sounds kind of amazing, uh, but I don't know. I bought it, like I was really excited when I bought it, but now I don't know if it's at the top of my list anymore. Um, unless you guys think it should be, please write in and tell me um, if you like it. I feel like the Goodreads page for this book is either like five stars, this is the bo best book ever, or one star, like how do people like this? So um, yeah, but it's definitely here. I have it now. So that's the first step. I'll eventually get to it. So yeah. The next book I bought was Faceless Killers by Henning Mankell. And uh, it's supposed to be a really good crime book featuring... Uh, Kurt Wallander, or Wallander, I don't know, um, but it's like a 
classic of Scandinavian crime, and Henning Minkel actually just died uh, a month and a half ago, and he's just been in the news a lot recently, and I realized I hadn't read anything by him, and I just thought it would be really cool to pick him up. So I've definitely left YA, Children's Lit Territory, and I'm now in the violent world of crime. But yeah, looking forward to this one. I also picked up another crime book, and that was Pierre Lemaitre's Irene. And really interestingly, Pierre Lemaitre just recently won the Prix Goncourt, uh, like the biggest uh, prize in France, like the Booker Prize of France, uh, just a few months ago with his book called The Great Swindle, which also looks really interesting. Um, Irene is a great crime novel. It's horrifying. It's brutal. It's probably tipping its way into horror. It's kind of like detective crime. And the closest thing I could compare it to is uh, the movie Seven. So it's just really, it is really gruesome and it does make your stomach turn. But nevertheless, I did think it was a really good crime book and I'm hoping to read the others in the series. But it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really, really, really dark. Like, I can't stress that enough. But I enjoyed it. Then what's a book haul about at least one nonfiction book to go with the piles of fiction? I picked this up just the other day. Seven Brief Lessons on Physics by Carlo Rovelli. And look at this. Isn't this just a gorgeous looking book? Um, it's uh, like a hundred pages, I think. And it's just a few like almost lectures or essays on uh, quantum mechanics, Einstein, the theory of relativity, space and time. And it's done in a really sort of easy to read, digestible format. And I don't know, I just think... I don't know. This book, I think, is going to be the stocking stuffer of this Christmas. It seems really cool. Philip Pullman was praising it um, in one of the newspapers. And yeah, I'm just, I can't wait to read it. I think this is going to be the next book I read. I feel like I can do it in an afternoon and it'll be just amazing. My mind will be blown. The next five books were actually either given to me or I got at the bookshop. They were advanced reader copies that were just hanging around. Next, The next two books uh, were given to me by a colleague of mine, the same colleague who gave me the Loney. She's always giving me books. She's the best. She's the best. And thank you so much. Um, anyway, uh, so the first book she got me was Raven's Gate by Anthony Horowitz. And I'm halfway through this book, and it is insane. I love this book so much. It's like, kind of like an H.P. Lovecraft horror novel slash urban fantasy thing. It's about like this wayward orphan who gets sent to Yorkshire and lives in this small village where everyone's kind of like not normal. And it seems like they're like this cult that's trying to summon the demon or something. And this teenager is like the chosen one. I don't really know what's going on. You know, it has that sort of enigmaticness throughout the whole thing where you keep hearing these conversations that are alluding to things you don't know. And yeah, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun reading it. Uh, it's the first in a series of five. I don't know if I'm going to go and read the next four immediately, but I'd definitely be curious to read other things by Horowitz. He seems to be a really prolific guy. He wrote like a series of spy books for kids called Alex Ryder that look really cool. He also has recently done um, two Sherlock Holmes mysteries, uh, Moriarty and House of Silk. And then I found out, looking at his Wikipedia, that he even has written a bunch of TV shows, uh, including Foil's War, which I've never watched, but I hear is supposed to be really good. So, yeah, Ravensgate, Anthony Horowitz, super excited. Then, the other book my friend gave me was Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. And look, it's a hardback too and everything. It's amazing. Um, and this book is about, I think... I think it's about this world where cities are mobile and they like attack other cities to survive. Um, I don't really fully know the concept that because I haven't started reading it, but I don't know. That sounds really cool. So I'm super psyched to read this. The next three books I got all in one day. Um, boop -ba -doop -ba -doop, boop -ba -doop. I got them. Um, they were in the staff room. I actually got this one first. And I had to ask, because it was in a weird place, I had to ask my boss whether it was okay to take. Because this book's been out for a while, so it was like kind of weird that we had a proof of it. Uh, the School of Good and Evil. And But my boss was like, that's fine. And then she went back and then found these two other books that she said I had to read. Rooftoppers, which is about, I think, orphans in Paris living on roofs. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just making that up off the title and the cover. But it looks really cool. Look at there. And it won the Waterstones uh, Children's Book Prize. Um of its year, I think maybe two years ago or a year ago, I'm not, I can't remember. And then there was this one, 
uh, If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. And my, my boss says that it's really harrowing, but amazing. So I'm also looking forward to reading this one. So that is my November book haul, everyone. Uh, I know it was a lot of books. Uh, hopefully I'll get through them quickly. But yeah, I'm really excited to read every single one of them. Um, if you've read any of them, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate your thoughts. Uh, it'll help me. It'll help me figure out which ones I'm going to read first. So really appreciate that. Um, if you like this video, please like it. And if you really like this video, please subscribe. And until next time, happy reading. Bye bye bye.